Sebastian, we understood that you were the vet that's been working with Karim for quite a while. Yeah, that's correct. Since yeah, since 2004, actually, uh, I uh, I got an old guy, mm -hmm. and uh, since then we've been uh, we've been working together. And so that's late, uh, more than 10 years now. Fantastic. And how long have you been looking after Emilia? Emilia came in, uh, I think, two years ago or something that we started uh, uh, really working on it. It was actually before the work, two years ago was the work, of course. Yeah. So, um, but at that time she was still young and uh, very fresh. Uh, you couldn't really come with the leg and the muscles weren't developed that well as it is now um, and that's been yeah, that's mainly been dressage work and building up the horse to, uh, to this level. Let's talk about the, the period of preparation before the Olympic Games. Yeah. What's your role as a team member, a vet, in that case? What do you look after? What do you recommend generally? What do you, how do you develop a horse? with the target of Olympic Games? The thing is that uh, the team is very important. So you have all the facets in the team. So, uh, of course, uh, the stable management and the riding, that's the main part. Um, injuries can come up and these you have to cover. But actually you have to look on the long term what is the best uh, for the horse. And that's, that's per horse different. So it depends on uh, is it a really fresh horse, is it a really hot horse, is it uh, uh, these kind of things and therefore you adapt either the stable management and also the feeding etc. Uh, feeding is more as cooking like we do for humans so you uh, estimate had, uh, how many vitamins you have to add, is there a certain elements you want in the food. Um, so these kind of things, it's just trying and see what works best for the horse. And uh, if that's, that works well, you keep her in that, uh, that rhythm, that schedule. And um, then coming closer, so, so that's notice you have by then. Then you come closer to the, uh, to the Olympics. Um, first, you have the qualification, so uh, that's very important that you first qualify. Well, that was all done somewhere by February. And then we decided to give the horse a bit of time off. So she didn't go to any show for a couple of months. Um, and then we planned to get her back in the rhythm. So we picked a couple of shows, uh, not that far uh, from home. And there uh, the horse was trained up and uh, got back into the rhythm again. And looking back, we thought that maybe the period, what we choose, like uh, three months, was maybe for her a little bit too long, mm -hmm. because she's a fighter. She gets better from work, she gets better from training. So uh, the, the, the regular training, and uh, that's, that, that is very important for this horse. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen here, what we, what we do in training is that we train her end in the morning and in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And that what, uh, the, the, that's what the horse needs. So I understand that I understand that you employed your your knowledge as a vet into creating, alongside Karim, the management plan for the mare. Exactly. Muscle development, rest, yeah. uh, uh, continuity, etc., etc. Yeah. What about the, you know, in a period of two years after the work, you know, you you have maybe plans of doing blood tests, uh, seeing what she needs. Yeah. Maybe giving some supplements for the joints. Yeah, exactly. H how do you really put that in, into your consideration? Well, the the, the things like uh, the blood test, the, 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 the simple. You just take the blood, you look into it, and uh, how often? Then, how often do you do that? That's normally once in the four months or something. That that's normally enough, unless you find. Uh, things where you think of, hey, this is a strange value somewhere in the blood. Mm. Uh, so you're going to change either the feeding or something with supplements, and you check one week later, later uh, if it's, uh, the levels are going up. Mm. And then the third time to be sure that it stays in the right way. So that's more the internal part from the horse. Mm. And then you have very important, uh, so, so that is where you measure 
measure uh, for uh, muscles, uh, liver, uh, kidney, etc. And uh, then you have the uh, the limbs, of course, are very important, and the joints. Mm. Uh, what we do with the bigger joints, we can use an ultrasound machine to look into the joints if the joint fluid is healthy, mm. uh, if the joint fluid, if the joint fluid is, um, uh, if there's no effusion. Mm. If you find things like effusion, uh, then we first try with external management. Mm. Uh, so that means. The claying, cooling, uh, bandaging, these kind of things uh, to get it down. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, we sometimes have to intervene with uh, uh, some medication. Internal. Yeah, exactly. Um, the for Amelia is actually a very sound horse, so she doesn't need that much injections uh, to keep her healthy. Also, the way of training actually helps me because uh, Karim really tries to get her to the hindquarters, so on the hind limbs, which takes off the weight from the front limbs. Mm. So we hardly have any problems in the, in the front limbs. She's really strong and good in that, also not with tendons, uh, there's not that much infusion, etc. So uh, the building of the horse is really important to also keep the joints sound. It has to be in balance, uh, and if the balance is good, then uh, you keep the horse sound for the long time. Fantastic. Um, what are your recommendations to Karim in the last, let's say, four or five days before competition? What, what do you tell him? Um, we made a schedule beforehand uh, and we normally stick to the schedule. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm discussing with him every day how does the uh, mare feel. I watch with the training, how is the mare in the morning, how is the mare in the afternoon, how are the limbs at the stable, uh, is there a fusion, swelling, etc. Mm -hmm. If there's something strange coming up or strange or, or, or we see that there are some, uh, some problems or whatever, then we discuss um, and then we react. So it's not that we jump onto the, the, the stuff, but we first evaluate discuss and then we decide what to do. Fantastic. This morning you had the vet check. Exactly. Um, generally, in your opinion, with a good sound horse like Emilia, mm -hmm. do, you, do you walk her before the vet check? Do you loosen her up? Do you ride her? Do you, what do you, what's the plan? Amelia is very sound, mm -hmm. so uh, I had no doubts at all that there uh, could have been any problem. But of course, uh, it's it's nice for the horse to uh, to walk a little bit uh, when you have been in the stable for the night, to walk a little bit, do a little trotting, um, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. And of course, we normally do it at the soft surface, mm -hmm. uh, because at the soft surface, the, any horse moves better than on the hard surface. But the, the fact is, of course, it's at the hard surface, but yeah. And uh, yeah, there are no doubts with the media that she, uh, she will pass the vet test. Yeah. Thank you very much. We are all looking forward to, uh, to a, uh, a successful uh, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Olympics here yeah. and uh, hoping that things go very well. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Inshallah. you very, very much. Welcome.